Good morning, Grand Rising, top of the sun. Hello, everybody. Wakey, wakey, wakey. Hey, sleepy head. How are you? Did you sleep well last night? You okay? You up and at it before the sun? Going to work in traffic already? Oh, y'all, it's Friday. According to the, um, what is it, Gregorian, Gregor, Gregorian calendar. You know that, that's not the right, but we gonna go with it. It's Friday, um, and I was just, I was up late. Even though I had to get up early, I was up late last night. Like, I was up until, like, one in the morning. So, I only had, like, two hours of sleep. But, nevertheless, you know... I was up watching a few things, and um, I'm glad. Like, I see a lot of people was on the way of getting a lot of things off their chest, leaving it in 2019, which made me happy. I wasn't alone in that um department. Um, I seen a lot of videos on people, um, you know, doing what I did. Like, you know, not per se doing what, I, basically doing what I did. Like. Letting people know, you know, okay, we did what we did. We been through what we been through. I'm not holding a grudge against you. Um, if I see you, I can say what's up. It ain't got to be like that. Um, we can get together. We can go down memory lane. But, you know, we ain't got to be all friends. But I'm not your enemy either. You know, um, and it kind of put a smile on my face. That put a whole smile on my face. That made me feel really good. You know, because instead of everybody being negative, everybody was being positive and looking forward and leaving the drama back in 2019. I love the videos I came across um, last night. Um, I watched somebody's two-hour live um, because it was her birthday yesterday. And um, she was um, talking about old situations, like, thoroughly. Like, naming people. And, um, you know, how her friend, she was like, I'm always there for people. But I, it's not reciprocated back to me. But uh, if they call me, and we're not, we not talking right now. But if they picked up the phone and called me, I'm catching the first flight. And for some reason, that warmed my heart. You know? And it got me reflecting on the video I did when I, um my um on my episode of my perspective and valid emotions a letter to you know who and it got me thinking um even though i said <laughs> i didn't want the friendship it's nothing like i said i could see you and still say what's up throw the peace sign up and say what's up i don't gotta walk clear past you and not speak to you that's rude um certain people even though we not talking it had me thinking, like, if a, the group of people I'm not talking to, if they picked up the phone or sent me a DM or got in my um, messenger on Facebook and they said, I need you, will I jump up and go? Will I jump up and go? And the question is, yes. I would. And within a heartbeat. I will get up because it don't matter what we've been through. The fact is, I still love you and want the best for you, you know. So, of course, I am going to jump up. Even though you're not in my main circle, I don't talk to you every day. The friendship made it faded out. If you was in my inbox, you DM me or you call me and say, Leah, I need you. I'm up and I'm on my way. Point blank in the period. I'm up and I'm on my way, you know? And that's just common courtesy. That's just common respect. That's that love that I still have for you no matter what. Just because you're not in my face or we not, um, we might not consider each other friends or, you know, we might not be running the same right now. That don't mean I won't still jump up because I, if I loved you once, I've, I'm always loving you. That's just the bottom line. And I brought this up um, because in this particular live, 
she brought up some good points. She brought up the fact like, I don't know what's wrong with y'all nowadays, but it seemed like people don't want to fight and get through it no more. Like everybody break up over nonsense. And I felt her on that, but then I also disagreed. I agreed because, yeah, some of y'all give up real quick, but give a man or a girlfriend a million chances to stump all over your heart. I totally agree with her. But y'all fall out over, oh, she called me the B word. Or, um, oh, she looked at me the wrong way. Oh, you know, and I get it. Because some of y'all do do that. Some of y'all do um, back away over little things. Um, But what I disagreed with is you don't have to go through that repeatedly. You don't have to keep fighting with somebody repeatedly. I get it. You get, okay, you fight one time, you get over it. You love on each other. Okay, it might happen a second time. You get over it, you hug it out, you kiss it out. All right, we good. All right. Third time, fourth time, it's understandable. Family and friends fight. But if it's on the thousand, the three thousand, the five thousand, the billionth time, it's time to reevaluate and be like, okay, something is wrong. Because why aren't we why didn't we learn the lesson that we supposed to not take it this far? How come we didn't elevate to where we don't let this silly shit get in between us or I'm it's not making me mad anymore? Where you had that much power over me and I'm getting mad over it. I didn't learn my lesson the few billion times then because we keep going through it. So what do that mean? That means we need some space in between us to figure it out. Or we need to devalue, we need to demote something because something is not working out. It's not working out. We are disagreeing way too much. And I'm not saying you have to agree on every single thing. That's not a friendship if you agree on every single thing. That's a robot. That's a robotic relationship. I'm saying you don't have to fight all the time either and just accept it and accept it and accept it. No, we have some doggone values and morals and we have some standards here, okay? Just be... Um, fighting don't mean you love me. I could get, a, I can get over it once or twice. Or like I said, three, four, five, six, um, maybe 12 times, you know, depending on how long the, you know, okay. But it shouldn't feel like I'm arguing and fighting with you every single day. Or I need you. You are never there or the same mistake. I'm telling you, I don't like this. I'm telling you, I'm expecting. Expressing to you, I don't like this particular thing you are doing to me. And you keep doing it. It's time to go our separate ways. Because I've expressed, I've cried, I've begged, I've expressed every way I could possibly get across to you that I don't like this. I really dislike when you do this to me and we keep going through it. That means it didn't register in your head and you don't respect me enough to change. If we keep fighting over dumb, petty stuff, we didn't learn our lesson. It's time to go. But if you call me, you need me. I'm there. I'm running. Because I love you still. You know, I love you. That didn't go nowhere. We just can't be in each other's space right now. You can't be in my everyday life right now. No. Because we didn't learn our lesson. I felt that live. I felt that two years. I said two. If she did a life that lasted two years, oh my goodness. <laughs> I felt that two hour live. I felt that within myself because I'm like, okay. I agree, but I also disagree because I don't have to keep. What's that one song that dude came out with? I got to put up with your mess to be. No, I'm not. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, I'm not putting up with your mess just to be around in your space. No, we got to have some boundaries. We got to have some common respect for each other. You know? But I felt that. If you need me, you call me, I'm running. 
If you need me and you call me, I'm on the first thing smoking. If you need me and you call me, you know, that's not going nowhere. I just want you to learn the lesson. I'm a human being. I have feelings. Everybody, yes, yeah, some of y'all are sensitive. Yeah. And y'all let people get away who did way worse than you get away with murder. But you will kick out the people who did small things. Yes, it's a, yeah, some of y'all out there. Yeah, it is. It's you. You are, yeah, it's you. <laughs> but, um... Yes, I, I'm. I was thinking, and I, I felt in my heart. I did that video. I met every word I said. I met every word I said. But if that individual called me, and them babies need something, you think I'm not on the first thing? My babies need a what? Oh, they need. You need what? Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, you know. And that don't mean we autumn. You know, we learning. You know. I don't have to hate you and be distant, you know. I don't want to be like that. I'm just, uh, I'm smart enough and mature enough to know we need some space. It's not working right now. And that's okay. We not seeing eye to eye right now. You know. And the memories make you jet back in so quick, you know. But the reality is. You have to make people see what they missing out and what they finna lose. You know, you have to make people see that because they'll keep doing it. They'll keep stepping on you. They People treat you what you, people do to you what you allow them to do. You know, people will keep doing it if you don't sit, if you don't say stop, if you don't distance yourself. If you keep letting it flow and sweeping it under the rug, they just will keep doing it. And that's not right. Especially if you express what you dislike or if I'm telling you to stop and you're not stopping. That's not right. I have to distance myself. You know? I just want to come on here and, um, you know, say that and express how I felt about that. Because I really felt that. And I went down, you know, I'm not, I went down even further. Like the people... I was real cool with, took pictures with, professional pictures with, you know, and I can get out of box and look at them pictures. And those are times, you know, I'm like, damn, we fell out because she have a party and not invite me, but she invited me to her house. Maybe that person didn't invite you to the party because they know you don't like the club. The people around me know I don't like clubs. I, that's not my scenery. It never was. That's too low vibrational for me. You know. So I don't like clubs. So that's why she didn't invite you. She likes the club. She's of the world. So she likes the club. She know you are uncomfortable in that setting. That's why she didn't invite you. But back then I was fussing and cussing. You invite me everywhere else. But time is your birthday. You want to hit the club. Why? You know I didn't. I would cuss people out because I didn't get an invite. And I would fuss and cuss and I would hit below the belt and I was wrong for that. You don't understand people's reasonings for doing things. And um, I have a message. I did message that person on, on Facebook and was like, you know what? I'm sorry for fussing at you. I was out of pocket. And if I made you feel any kind of way, I, I'm, I apologize. Back then, I was in my lower self, and I didn't understand. You probably had a reason for why you did what you did. Sometimes we really have to have a overstanding, you know, seeing the bigger picture beyond us. You know, what we think in our conception of things might not be the reason why people do what they do. You know, it's an overstanding beyond you of why things happen. And that's one aspect of it. Like, I, I was tripping because I didn't get invited to certain things. But they didn't invite me because they know I would be uncomfortable. And I think for some reason the universe is putting that on my heart. Like, they didn't do it maliciously. They just know you not a people person like that. And you prefer to be around specific people. And they invite you to things where they know you are comfortable you know, you don't like the club scenery. They do. You don't like to drink. They do. You know. And I had that. I had that. Um, 
enlightenment and I did apologize for it. You know, I, I probably was out of pocket and overreacting, you know. Um and you like I said, I don't want it to be anything. If I see you, I wanna give you a hug and say hi. I don't wanna just be rude and be like mm, turn my nose all the way up and be like mm, and just walk past you. I don't wanna feel and be like that. I want to see you and be like, oh my goodness, hi, genuinely, and hug you and keep it moving, you know? That's all I'm saying. So I felt that live um, last night, that live kept me up, you know, because I was looking at the story she was revealing, um... And I was just proud of her for speaking how she felt. I was proud of the other videos I came across on YouTube, too. How people are um, reaching out and be like, you know, I know we had our indifferences. I know we had disagreements. But I want to reach out and I want to um, just let you know it's okay. I'm not holding grudges. I want to hold your hand. I want you to come over so we can go down and like have tea or coffee or whatever. And I just want us to be okay. Well, if I see you, it ain't bad blood. It's no bad blood, you know. I was so happy to see that. That warmed my heart and that had me digging up and thinking like, you know, you don't have to be harsh. You could tell people in a kind matter, I don't like this. And if we don't change it, I got to walk away. But if you need me, I'm, a, I'm here. If you all, that don't change. You know, that love I have for you don't change. If you need me, and it's something I could do for you, just let me know I'm coming. You know, that's how you leave off with everybody. You know, that's how it, you know, and everybody not like that. Everybody walking around with these demonic spirits and your butt, your stick is up your butt. Too, it's just too much going on. It, it, don't nobody got time for that, okay? That's a lot of negativity. We up here trying to push positivity, and we trying to move forward. We in a new decade, and that's all. That's all. Um, I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just wanted to speak my mind on that. Um, It's getting long. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know in the comment section if you felt what I um where I was coming from. Let me know if you experienced that. Did you um like mend things and make things okay with everybody around you? Um, you know, do you feel where I'm coming from? Let me know in the comment section. Y'all do something nice for somebody. I always tell y'all that look out for somebody. Um, you know, randomly randomly do something nice for somebody i love y'all i appreciate every single one of y'all and y'all have a wonderful day and i'll catch y'all on the next one